What's up, bitch?
Hello everybody, Jekyll here, and I hope you enjoyed the little replay. So yeah, this is uh, my somewhat synchro Eldritch deck. I actually like this build, it's very control heavy. So we're playing double Lord, triple Eldland, triple Scarlet Sanguine, double Elixir of White Destiny, triple Hakuero, and triple Conquistador. That is our Eldritch lineup. This is very standard, if I do say so myself. I think at least. And next we have our Hop Year Squadron package with Triple Hop Year Squadron, our main and only tuner. Malfi Caddy, which can search out our tuner monster, which is very, very nice, in three copies of course. Malfi Pony, so we can recycle our tuner from the graveyard. And that is the end of the Melfi package, the Pop Melfi package. Next is Dasher and Celestial with Double Fusion Destiny. I'm not proud of this. Next we have one Artifact Scythe and double Artifact Ignition. I really like Ignition in here because I can uh, pop my opponent's back row and set Scythe. After which I can either use of course the DP or a Black Rose Dragon which I, I can synchro summon with Hakuero or Conquistador with Hopia Squadron to just blow this Scythe up. So this is basically Artifact Ignition is an additional copy of Scythe in the back row and I really like it that, that way. Now we're also playing as always Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Infinite Impermanence because negations. Triple Solemn Judgment and one strike because I didn't know what to put in here and I wanted to have another Solemn. And Judgment is the most powerful one of them all. For our extra deck, we're playing Double Geomatmac Final Sigma, which is a generic level 12 synchro monster, which we can use our Golden Lord to make. Unfortunately, the Eldlixers prevent the summon of any other monster except zombies, so that is a hurdle to get over. Next is our level 7 Synchros with Clearwing Synchro Dragon for some uh, monster negation, Cyframe Lord Zeta for a disruption, Black Rose Dragon in 3 copies because Kaboom, and we really like Kaboom. One Black Rose Moonlight Dragon for an additional Bounce Removal Disruption, which I also like, and Dawn Dragster for some Spell and Trap Negation. And for our Xyz monsters, we of course have Zeus, because it's Zeus. We have Pleiades, because Hakuero and Conquistador are light, so it's very easy to summon. We have Volcasaurus, because, well, Destruction and Burn is very nice to have. We have some a package that I like to play when it comes to level 5 Xyz, uh, rank 5 Xyz, uh, number 19 Free Sardon and Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer. So when you summon Free Sardon, which is a generic uh, rank 5 Xyz, we can then rank it up into Crystal Zero Lancer, which will gain 500 attack points for each Xyz material on it and there will be free, making it a 3700 beat stack. But not only that, it cannot be destroyed by battle, because if it would be destroyed it can just detach the material, and that you can detach material and negate the effects of all monsters your opponent currently controls. So it's also somewhat of a skill drain. And I love it. And of course, DP. This deck is very interesting. I wouldn't say it's the most competitive Eldritch variant, but it was actually kind of fun, and I hate myself for it. So, anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you all in the next one. Chukol Sanyal. Peace!